Hey everybody, I'm back with another Tuesday tip and in this week's video, we're gonna talk about axles. Got a couple tricks that I've used recently that really helped me out. So I wanna talk about them and hopefully they might be able to help you out. I've gotta take my wheels off right now. I'm gonna do a time-lapse run through that real quick and then we'll get into it. So let's get started. So the first tips that I have for you today are for when you get stuck hardware on your axle. To make this easier to see and understand, I have a spare axle here with some hardware on it. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna check the ends of your axles to make sure that you don't have a place where an Allen wrench can go in and you can take care of stuck hardware that way. This is the easiest way to do it because then you don't have to worry about messing with anything. You can just put your Allen wrench in, loosen up what you need to and go on with your business. So let's just say that you don't have a place to put an Allen wrench in your axle, or for whatever reason, you have to find some other way to get stuck hardware off of your axle. What you can do, provided that you can get your wheel off, is you can put your wheel into your dropout, sticking out like this. You put your wheel in there so that your stuck hardware is facing out, and when you tighten it down, it gives you access to loosen your stuck hardware very easily. The one thing to remember with this is that if you have a four and a half inch peg, it's probably not gonna fit into your dropout and you need to take your peg off first. So let's just say that you're out riding and you have four pegs, so you don't have a wrench for your axle nut. All you have is a socket and an extension. Well, you can put your extension into your dropout and then slide the socket onto your axle nut and tighten it that way. Then once you have that tightened, you can use your socket and your extension to tighten and loosen this as well even if you have a peg on here. This method works in most scenarios, even if you have pegs on both sides, all you need to do is get one peg off and loosen up one side enough to where you can tighten it on there and then get the other side off. So the next tip that I have was shown to me by my friend Paul Rad, and it's only going to work if the side of the axle opposite of the side with stuck hardware is free of pegs because you need to be able to get to this axle nut. So for this tip, you don't need your axle on the dropout like this, it just makes it easier to show. All you need for this tip is a third axle nut. And what you do is, is you tighten the current axle nut opposite of the side with stuck hardware, which we're assuming is this side, because this side's free. You tighten this axle nut down so that threads are sticking out of it. Once you have enough threads sticking out, which is like enough to cover pretty much a whole axle nut, you tighten your third axle nut down against the current one. Then you take two wrenches, put them on the axle nuts, and you tighten them into each other. Once they're tightened into each other, you can put one wrench on one axle nut, the other on your stuck one, and loosen it up. Loosen up the jam nut if that's the thing you're having problems with. And another thing, Jam nuts are usually 22 millimeter wrenches or 22 millimeters in size. <clears throat> Once you have that done, you can take your two wrenches, put them on the axle nuts, loosen them away from each other, and you should be able to take them both off if you need to and fix whatever you need to fix, then reassemble your wheel. So the last tip that I have for you guys is essentially the same as the first tip, only using it with a female axle. So the situation is that You've tightened one side down too much and no matter what you do, when you tighten both sides down, you try to break them free, only one side will break free and you can't get the other side to loosen up. What you can do is, is you can make sure that you don't have a peg on here on the side that you need to put in the dropout and then just put it in the dropout and tighten it down. So the front is a little bit different than the back because an extension doesn't fit into the dropout the same way that it does in the back. So you either have to use normal Allen wrenches or a short Allen socket that whenever you have the socket wrench on there, it'll fit in between the dropouts. I'm gonna use normal Allen wrenches for this and you just put your wheel in here with the stuck side facing out just like we did with the back and then just tighten it down move over to the side that's stuck and it should just loosen right up for you. So while I'm finishing up here, I wanna talk about the giveaway that I mentioned earlier this week. I'm gonna be giving away a clip-on iPhone fisheye and an iPhone tripod. 
And all you have to do to be entered to win this is comment on the video and be subscribed. That's it. Not going to ask you to like it. Not going to ask you to share it, whatever. Um, that's all you got to do. So if you want to win an iPhone clip-on fisheye or an iPhone tripod, then just comment below. And if anybody comments, I will pick the winner next Tuesday. And I will try and get a hold of you by Instagram, Facebook, whatever, and we'll get it sent out to you. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope this helped you out. And uh, we'll see you in the next one.